Good day, good day everyone and once again we're back together and uh, we're looking at some Euclidean geometry uh, in preparation for those exams. Alright, so if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family. Alright, so um, I've taken this question actually from the uh, June or the May 2023 exam. Alright, so let's just delve into it and uh, see what it has. Alright, they say to us in the diagram, O is the center of the circle. Right. So, you know, I like working inside, uh, you know, the diagram as I read the information. Right. So I'm going to just make sure that I indicate. So if that O is the center, then it means that OT uh, would be equal to OK. Right. And because they are radii. And what that means is that uh, triangle o OKT would be equal or would be an isosceles triangle, right? So, of course, um, you know, if you had to uh, have a look at this, then it means that uh, T2 would be equal to uh, that K1 plus 2 uh, in that triangle. Remember, these are base angles of an isosceles triangle, right? So, we don't know if we do, we're going to need that, but like, right, let's continue with the information. So, they say to us, we've got KT and L, which are points on the circle, Right. And then they say that KT, TL, KL, KL, OK and OT are drawn and OT intersects uh, KL. Right. Now, when they tell us about an intersection in this case, we might have to use uh, sum of angles on a triangle or vertically opposite angles. Uh, but we'll see as time goes. Right. So now they say that ST is the tangent. Right. That is very important. So the moment that I've got a tangent there, I am going to look for the opportunity of using my 10 chord theorem, right? So I know if this is 36 degrees, so that's given to me as uh, 36, right? Let me perhaps use a different color. So if that angle there is 36, there's my uh, chord all right, so in this case, it means that the angle on the opposite side of the chord in this case would be 36 degrees. So that angle should also be 36, right? And we're given that OKL, that small angle inside there, all right, is uh, 18 degrees, all right? So before we start answering the questions, I want us to quickly have a look at what other uh, information we can actually uh, get from this. Okay, right. So first of all, uh, I've already shown you 10 chord theorem in this case. Uh, through the 10 chord theorem, we know that L will be equal to uh, that angle there, which is, um, uh, yeah, angle L will be equal to uh, that T1, right? Okay, so that is what we know. Right, now I want you to also note, look at this, angle at center, twice angle at circumference. So if I look at angle, well, you we can call it angle O, or you can say uh, KOT, right? So angle KOT would be two times angle L, right? So in this case, it means that if I say two times 36, uh, that should give me 72 degrees. Okay, so I know that angle there should be th uh, 72. And then, uh, which other angle do I know? Well, uh, look at this. You are taking from the center, going to uh, the uh, tangent. In this case, we know that the angle between uh, the line from center, okay, that uh, intersects with a tangent uh, will be actually perpendicular at the point of tangency. So that means that T1 plus T2 should be equal to 90. That's the 10 radius theorem, isn't it? So that means that we would be able or be in a position to calculate T2, okay? And as a result, uh, if we needed to, we can therefore calculate uh, K1 because remember K1 plus K2 would be equal to uh, T2. All right. Okay, so in this case, let's try and answer the questions that we are asked. All right, so the first one, they say to us, um, determine giving reasons 
uh, the size of T2. Okay, so what I'm going to do, ladies and gents, I'm going to write it over here. Uh, so, all right, let's write it there. So that's 8.1.1. Okay, so they said uh, we need to find the size of T1. So first and foremost, we know that T1 plus T2, okay, uh, plus T2 is equal to 90 degrees, right? And why is that? That is because of the 10 radius theorem, okay? Right, so uh, in this case, uh, because we've got T1 and T2, uh, but we know that T1 is 36 degrees, so meaning that T2, therefore, would be equal to uh, 90 degrees minus T1, which is 36, okay, and um, that's uh, that will be 54 degrees. Okay, so the value of T2 should be equal to 54 degrees, okay. Right, now let's go to the next one. We're looking for angle L, right? So, going back there again, all right, so we're saying that we're looking for angle L, right? Now, we said angle L should be equal to angle uh, T1. Okay, so for 8.1.2, all right, we know that angle L should be equal to T1, which is equal to 36 degrees. And what is the reason? Sorry, I don't have enough space there. What should be the reason there? That's the 10 chord theorem, okay? So we know that through the 10 chord theorem, those two angles are exactly equal. Okay, right. The next question, they say calculate or, or rather uh, the, the size of KOT. Now remember, in this case, uh, so KOT. So they're looking for that angle there, which we found to be 72. And remember, how did we do that? So we said... All right, KOT should be equal to two times uh, angle L, all right, um, which in this case would be two times 36, and that gave us 72 degrees, right? Uh, why is that? Because the angle at center, uh, at center, uh, equal to two times angle at circumference. Okay, right. So uh, that is how we got to that uh, KOT. All right, and finally, uh, oh, actually, I, I named this incorrectly. That was supposed to be A, B, and C, uh, but you do get uh, the point, ladies and gents, right? All right, so in this case, the last question, they say prove giving reasons that KM is equal to ML, right? So in this case, we're looking to prove that KL is equal to ML, okay? So we need to prove that these two lines are equal, right? Now, remember, we can actually uh, prove that they are equal if we can prove. Remember that line from center, uh, drawn from the center, that, uh, uh, you know, is perpendicular to the chord, therefore bisects the chord. So if we can prove that this is a 90 degree triangle, I mean, angle over there, all right, any of those angles there around M, uh, if we can prove that uh, they are equal to 90 degrees, uh, that will help us. Now, I, wanna, I want you to think about it, ladies and gents. If I were to, okay, I want to try and uh, highlight that, triangle that I'm going to work from, right? So if I take that triangle KOM, uh, all right, that small triangle over there, right? So if I take the exterior angle of that triangle, okay? Or if you want to, you can use sum of angles on a triangle, all right, and find uh, that angle there, which is KMO, all right, meaning that you can find this angle inside here, right? 
or you can find the exterior angle. So I'm going to use the exterior angle of a triangle, right? So I'm going to say, well, uh, 48.2. Okay, so I need to write this. Okay, so for 8.2, what I'm going to do is say, well, uh, for angle KMT, which is this guy over here, right? So KMT is equal to um, angle K2 plus angle KOT plus KOT. Now, why is that? We know that this is the exterior angle of a triangle, right? So we say the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angle. So which means that K2 plus KOT should give me that angle there. And well, K2 uh, is 18 degrees, so that's going to be, so KMT should be equal to 18 plus that KOT, which is uh, uh, 72, right? And if you add them up, they give you 90 degrees, right? So what does that mean? It means that line OM is therefore perpendicular uh, to KL, all right, to KL. All right, and what do we know? So in this case, uh, the converse of theorem one, if the lines are perpendicular, uh, or if the line that is drawn from center is perpendicular, therefore it means that it bisects the chord. So, um, I think so in this case, we, we can say that therefore uh, KM, okay, is equal to uh, ML, Okay, and we can say in this case, that's the converse of theorem one. Okay, right. Okay, so um, that is how we will answer this question. Uh, I hope you are able to follow, ladies and gents. Uh, you know, it's better if I write it on, on, on this here, uh, but it does help quite a lot uh, when you solve for that. All right, ladies and gents, I'll continue to give you some more content uh, on this particular section. Just keep looking out uh, for those lessons as we try to prepare for paper two. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.